Well, JT, you know, it's it's been a minute. We talked during your recruitment Definitely. and your signing with Syracuse. So what's life been like here now that you've had some time under your belt? It's been great, man. I definitely feel like I made the best decision possible in my recruitment. So it's nice. Why do you think it was the best decision, hindsight 2020? Um, just because we're so family oriented here. So I feel like uh, it's the same thing as being at home. Now, you know, I've got a lot of brothers, a lot of coaches that I look at like father figures, you know, good role models for me. Did you anticipate coming in here and being on the line? Were you thinking you were going to play up as linebacker? What did you see when you first came in? Yeah, I expected to uh, play D-line, defensive end. And for you now, as you've learned through here, where has the game gotten better for you? Where has it slowed down for you? Um, I think as far as, um, you know, just learning the playbook, I feel like that helped me play faster, uh, slowed the game down a little bit. You know, being with Coach White and Coach Acuff, they taught me how to um, study the offensive line and just steady offenses all together. So I think that's how the game really slows down for me. Who is it on the offensive line when you get to scrimmage and go up against each other that you think pushes you the most? Definitely uh, Matt Burridge, Matthew Burridge, Ryan, definitely. What is it about his game that pushes you? Um, just the way he plays um, as far as he's a tight player, you know, so you got to really focus on either beating him or going power with him. And that's, he, he's just not going to give it to you. So he's definitely going to make you work. And it's something every day that you got to work for. Playing the end and, and having that opportunity here, we've seen a lot of change, and obviously guys finished up their time here, Kingsley Jonathan and Josh Black. And so when you have those guys leave when it comes to DN and then Curtis Harper leaves on the interior side of it, and you have some of those other pieces like McKinley Williams, Steph Ford, and Cody Roscoe, how does this team move forward when you have all of that veteran leadership now gone? We move forward by taking what – what they did and just, you know, applying it to ourselves. They did a lot of great things for the university, for the football team. So, you know, we just kind of take what they did and use it for us and do the things that they taught us, you know. What did, what did they teach you and who did it come from? Like, if you had somebody that you really felt like was a good mentor for you, what did they say and who was it? I definitely say Roscoe. You know, okay. Roscoe, he had crazy work ethic and he really showed me. I thought my work ethic was crazy, but he really showed me that I wasn't working hard enough. So, you know, um, just pushing me in the weight room, working on my stance. Um, I get off and everything, so that's was really helped me grow a lot. What when you said your work ethic, you thought you were doing enough, and he he showed you more. Where did he go deeper into it? What was what was it about his work ethic that you thought like, wow, I got to go a little bit farther? You know, I used to I like being one of the early ones in, you know, in the mornings, and I think I get there early and here I already be here, or maybe <laughs> maybe even staying late. I think I'm staying late, and I see him leaving, so that really just showed me that you know I got to go harder. What is it about Cody Roscoe that you think he deserves a shot to play professionally? He's just a dog. Like It don't matter. He might not be the biggest. He might not be the strongest or the fastest, but whoever lines up in front of him, he's going to go work. So for you on this line, this is where the question mark, from the outside looking in, everybody's looking to the line saying somebody's got to step up. The youth has to step up. How do you guys take that in practice? Do you even care? Now, we don't care at all. We don't listen to the critics. You know, we just got our head down working right now. We can't really speak on something that ain't happy yet. We just going to show everybody, showcase our talents the first game in the, throughout the season. Caleb Okachukwu, how, did he, how does he make you better, and what can you say about his leadership? Great guy. Great guy. He's like a, uh, he's like a big brother to me. He's a great mentor. So, you know, um, he's been here for a minute, so he has a lot of knowledge about the game, and he just sprinkled that on all of us, you know? Coach Acuff, your, your position coach for the D-line, as well as Tony White, the defensive coordinator. What can you say individually about them both that you really like that brings out the most in you? I like the way Coach White pushes me. You know, he, he sees something better for me that I didn't even see for myself at first. So the way he just pushes me to go beyond the high ceiling that I already have. And as far as Coach Acuff, he just, he just wants me to work. You know, that's something I need, I need behind me. I need that kind of push behind me to make sure I'm staying on my top of my game. Lastly, tell the fans something. What do you want them to know about this season? September 3rd, be ready. Louisville.